All right, I've got the lift lowered. I uh, figure I'll give you a quick walk around of the exterior. We'll start up front. Once again, sorry about the sunlight coming from the back of the door. It kind of blows out the exposure. But I'm going to show you the car. Um, it has had PPF from new. Uh, there are no chips. I mean, I've got dead bugs from storage uh, in dust because, you know, it's pollen season down here in Florida right now. But uh, the car has zero chips on it, zero blemishes. Doesn't have any swirl marks. You know, it's been driven 500 miles and uh, it's had the PPF on it the entire time. Like I said, I do recommend the PPF be replaced at some point in time. The, uh, the person that installed it didn't do a very good job rolling the edges. So I wanna be clear of what my comment was. Um, they're straight line cuts, uh, which is indicative of a template, even though this is not, versus hand cut, they would roll it into the edges so you wouldn't see the line. Uh, that probably doesn't bother most people, but I'm a psycho. And, um, you know, when I do PPF, I do it the right way, which is why my prices are a little bit more than most, but we take the time uh, and do it properly. I'll show you the wheels. Might as well show you the wheel well, or not the wheel well, the, the fender. These are all um, air bubbles under the PPF as well. Those are not chips. Uh, if I can zoom in. Let's see, you get to see my shoes and my outfit that I'm wearing today. So congratulations with that. But these are these are air bubbles. If it happens, that happens on any PPF, whether it's a good install or bad install, that doesn't really matter. But there's no chips there. There's no curb issues on the wheels. Let me run around to the other side. By the way, I'm the dingus that wore a long sleeve shirt today in Florida and it's already 97 degrees. So I'm pretty sweaty. So if you catch me breathing, heavy it's because i'm fat and i'm hot all right there's the other wheel let me show you the fender line this is um just a dirt mark that's actually on the ppf not a chip but no blemishes on the paint you can see once again you did not roll the edges so you have a cut line um that should be rolled into the seam so you wouldn't see you just wouldn't see that um those are the types of things that bother me on uh, cars like this. Rear end is great. Let's see if I get this thing to focus. I'm using an iPhone, so bear with me. It's got gold badges, the GTS badges. That's um, not plasti dipped, but it looks like somebody did that. He ordered the badges to try and mirror the new shade of CS badges that, you know, uh, M5 CS, M3 CS. Uh, badges have. Let me see if this sucker's unlocked. Nope. All right, it's locked. I'm going to stop here. I'll get the keys and I'll do a third video.